Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you clicked on this video, that might mean that you are close to uploading your DA, which first of all, congrats on finishing an island. That's a very, very big achievement. And I'm actually kind of in the same boat because it's time to upload my own Four Seasons Island. Uh, don't worry, there's going to be like an island tour and everything. But today we have a few things to check before uploading. There's always like a list that I go through before I upload mine. And so today I thought, why not go through it together and kind of check that we didn't miss anything. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I think that's very important to understand is that a dream address pretty much shows a perfect snapshot of your island at that exact time and in that exact stage. Basically, that means if at the time of uploading, there are certain items placed or even dropped, or there's like a certain weather condition, your character is wearing something specific, all of that will be portrayed in the dream address. All right, and I think with understanding that, let's go ahead and go through all the steps now. Now, the very first thing, of course, is to determine a season, a month, a day, and a time of day for your dream address. It sounds like a lot of work, but I'm pretty sure that you've probably already picked out the season and month, um, mainly because of the grass color, as well as maybe the shrubs that are in season. For my island, this ended up being June because I really like the green, and I also wanted the hydrangea and plumeria shrubs to be in season. And then as for day and time of day, this pretty much depends on what type of weather and lighting you want to have. So I want it mine to be during broad daylight and then I wanted it to be sunny with like a few clouds because I always feel like that makes the sky look a little bit more interesting and a good breeze because that makes the trees wobble and the wind turbines etc kind of turn which I really really enjoy and I actually just ended up time traveling to a couple of different days in June and kind of figuring out uh, which day would be the perfect one for me. Now, before we move on to the next step on the list, I would like to briefly discuss like kind of a, I think, trick concerning the shrubs on your island. This is something that I've used on my previous islands that I've uploaded as a DA, in which I made it so that the hydrangea shrubs were actually not completely in season, but only the like starting day when they have those beautiful green flower buds. So I wanted to kind of tell you how that works because I struggled with that before and it was a little frustrating. So I think just explaining this briefly might help a few of you. So once you've figured out a day that you want your dream address to be at, um, let's say for me, this is the 12th of June. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump to a time forward where the shrubs are no longer in season. So the hydrangea shrubs, I think, are in season from like the 1st of June to the 20th of July or something like that. I will link a website down in the description box below where you can kind of see which shrubs are in season kind of when. And so for this one, I just jumped to sometime in August because I was sure that the shrubs were no longer in season. Load up the game and you will see that different shrubs are now in season. For this one, it would be the hibiscus ones and the hydrangea no longer are blooming. What you're gonna do is you're gonna jump back to the day before your desired day for the dream address. So for me, this would be the 11th of June. Load up the game once again and you will see that the hydrangea shrubs are not in season, even though it's June. So this is also a little hack in and of itself. If you want one of the shrubs that are usually in season to be out of season, just, you know, time travel out of season and then back to that desired day and you will kind of have achieved it. But because we want those green flower buds, there's like one more step for us, which is time traveling forward one day to your selected day for the dream address. Now it'll be the 12th of June. The hydrangea shrubs will have those beautiful green flower buds and you are pretty much ready to go with that. I hope that that wasn't too confusing. I hope that you kind of know what I meant and that you can use this to your advantage. All right, and now let's go ahead to the next step. The next step for me was to check the outfit enables and I actually had to go back and forth a couple of times because I really didn't like the outfit. This might not be a big step for you at all, but for me, I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have anything like pink or blue or anything completely kind of outside of the vibes that I wanted for that specific area. So I just made sure to check it and ended up with this uh, t-shirt that says gold on it, which is acceptable in my eyes. The next step is to check your tree branches and the little rock that spawns. So in case you didn't know, your island spawns 15 tree branches every day that are just randomly drop from like a tree. I'd actually already gone ahead and dropped 15 separate tree branches on a rock in the back so that they wouldn't like uh, randomly spawn anymore throughout the decorating process, which is definitely also a little trick that you can use. Uh, so it was really easy for me to just pick these up and have them removed from the island. If you didn't do that, you might have to go around your island and pick them up just in case you don't want them to appear in your dream address 
And also in between all the six different rocks that are on your island, one of them will spawn a little dropped rock as well, which I personally also didn't want to have in my dream address. So I just went ahead and also picked that up. Next up, shells on the beach. Now, once again, this might not be a big step for you, but for me, because my island is placed in summer, I have the blue shells that I kind of didn't want to have in like, let's say the fall season or the spring season. So I just went ahead and checked all my beaches and kind of dropped ones that I wanted to drop and picked up the ones that I didn't want there. Also something that I can tell you here is that one thing that actually doesn't matter for UDA because it simply doesn't show up is your message bottle. I am not sure about the gyroid fragments though. If anybody does know about that, please let me know down in the comments below. But I don't know if those just like disappear in your dream address as well or if they do show up. Next up, campsite. So for this build, I wanted to have a villager in my campsite. You might have noticed that in certain dream addresses, the campsite is either just empty or it actually has a tent there which completely depends on whether there is actually a villager the day that you're uploading your da which is kind of interesting so if you want to have a tent there there's only two ways to get that either it has to naturally occur or you can actually use amiibos to invite a villager in which is what i did so go ahead to the nook stop in resident services and invite a camper and there you go there's now a villager at your campsite and there will be a tent in your da which actually fun fact you won't be able to go into but at least it'll kind of look cute and now I would say it's the time to check for any last mistakes. Be careful running in this step because you might run through some flowers, which also will portray in the dream address. Check anything that you're not happy with. So for me, my islands are usually pretty cluttered. So if I find tiles that I left behind, I kind of want to fix that up. Or maybe you have some flowers that are not supposed to be where they are or something like that. Now is the time to check all of that. But don't only check the outside, also check the inside of your houses. You might have some dropped items or you might have something decorated in um, a color customization that you haven't changed yet or anything like that i can let you know though that also cockroaches don't matter like even if your house is crawling with cockroaches they just won't appear in the dream address which i find kind of interesting so that's not something you have to worry about but there might be some other things for this step, I can also recommend that if you can, maybe invite a friend over to also look over your island. You know, another set of eyes can always see more. In my case, actually, my friend was able to find uh, one more tile that I left behind. So I was super grateful for them to come over. And it's also kind of fun, you know, just to kind of check for any last mistakes. You might even be able to take some fun pictures and stuff like that. And now that your island is presentable, you also should make yourself presentable. Basically, check the outfit that your character is wearing and also any additional characters. For me, I had five different characters on this island, so this step definitely also took a little bit of time. I had to log in with the different characters and kind of check for that. Just make sure that you're happy with the outfit that your character is wearing. And the next step also concerns your character, which is the comment that they're saying. So have you noticed when you check your passport that there is a picture, a title, and a comment? The comment is actually what a character says when you talk to them in a dream address. So you can use that to say something nice or something that might, you know, fit your theme or something like that. Just make sure that you stick to Nintendo's rules and you can have a bit of fun with that. And also this is your reminder, if you have any additional characters, you might also want to do this with all of them as well which I also did. So I logged in with all my characters and put in a little saying because I think that's like a nice additional feature for the dream. And now it is time for gifts. I actually find this step super fun because it's kind of like trying to imagine people running around your island, you know, and what they would need on their little journey. Because remember how when you wake up in a dream address, you have literally nothing? Your pockets are completely empty. So you have to make sure that whoever dreams of your island can have the full experience. So first of all, you should think about any type of tools that you have to drop. You know, are there certain cliffs that you need a ladder for? Do you need to jump over certain rivers with a vaulting pole? or do you maybe want to provide a shovel or do you want to provide like a swimming suit or anything like that if there is definitely make sure to drop these tools either maybe right by the resident services so people have them right away or in the respective places where you actually require them just make sure that people can fully explore your island Something you could also think about is providing a cute little outfit for your villagers that kind of fits the island vibes. I actually really like to do this for this island. I actually went ahead and dropped one for all of the five different areas. I might have gone a little bit overboard, but it was also a lot of fun to, you know, figure out certain outfits that kind of fit the vibe of the area and then wrap them and drop them in those areas. And I also wanted to make sure that if I had a dress option, that I also had like an option with pants because not everyone might be comfortable wearing those. So that is something to consider and something to definitely have fun with. 
And then last but not least in this category, um, think about some photo props, you know? Do you want your visitors to have anything fun to hold as they run around, you know, like pocketbooks, lanterns, little flags, balloons, a boba drink, you know, any type of snack, anything that you might want your visitors to be able to take photos with or just kind of have fun running around, uh, make sure to drop it. Make sure to drop it either once again at the resident services or either along the way. That's something that I did because I think it's kind of fun to discover new things as you go along. Um, but have a little bit of fun with this. Have a little bit of fun and just think of what you would love to see on your island. And now it is time to upload. First of all, check your time again with all those steps taken, you know, time might have passed. So make sure that you just time travel back a few hours once again, so that it's all ready and prepared for the DA. And then you will need an accessible bed in your house. I actually didn't have one. The one bed that I did have placed was not accessible, but I was actually able to use a trick because I had closed off some different rooms on the main floor. So what I did is I just picked up the wall that I had placed here, snuck my way into the hallway, place it back down and pretty much like cage myself in but then i was able to just place a bed in that empty room that is not like noticeable to the dream address world so it all ended up working out in the end and then go ahead and talk to luna about wanting to upload your da make sure you screenshot or write down your dream address you can also ask her later again if you forgot it and she will also ask you if you want your island to be visible in the random dream address visits and this is just completely up to your preferences and with that, your island is uploaded as a dream address. This is also a good time to maybe give it to a friend again, have them go all over the island and check for any maybe last mistakes that you might have missed or anything like that. But you've pretty much made it. Congrats on uploading a DA. It's a super exciting thing. And now it's time to share that dream address on social media and have others kind of discover your island and visit. I hope you have the absolute most fun with this entire process. If there's anything else that you usually do in this process, please leave it down in the comments below. I do hope that this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more content like this and for my finished island tour soon. And then I hope you have an awesome, awesome time until I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.